I had exposure as a child to NASA and to the mission and what they did, but it really didn't solidify for me until a, the fifth grade. And that's when um, they passed out these uh, weekly reader newsletters. And one of the weeks they had an article that was talking about a space station that NASA was going to build. And they said that they were gonna need people with PhDs in chemistry, physics, mathematics, and astronomy. And I decided right then and there in fifth grade that I was going to have a graduate degree in chemistry and work for NASA. I'm Valerie Myers, and I work in the toxicology office here at Johnson Space Center. We assess every single liquid, gas, particle, gel that goes up to station, whether it's in a payload or in a system. And we assign it a hazard level. So crew know if they're working with an experiment and something starts to leak out, uh, we work really hard to make sure that doesn't happen in the first place. But if it does, then the crew know how to respond to that. I'd have to say that it's really important to work as a team. The visible part of NASA may be the crew members, but there are a host of people who are absolutely, truly critical to making a mission happen. And every single one of those people must do their part in order to make the mission come off successfully. I think science for the sake of science is fantastic, just for the knowledge and the learning, but I think here we have an opportunity to put that science to work. Um, we develop things for spacecraft and to protect our crews and our astronauts that can then be translated to things on the Earth that protect our people here too. My dad is a volunteer fireman and I know that we have protective gear for firemen that we would have never had um, developed if we hadn't developed them for crews, uh, for EVAs um, and, and protective suits. And I, yeah, I, I think it's a unique combination of of science and learning and exploration that you just can't get anywhere else. I think first you have to believe in yourself and if you believe in yourself and just are consistent and, and show people over and over again that you can be counted on, um, that you work hard, that you're knowledgeable, I, I think that respect comes. Um, I know that there are women who have come before me, especially in science and engineering, who felt that you had to work twice as hard to get half as much credit. Um, I've been very blessed to, to never have run into a barrier. I was never told that I couldn't do something because I was a girl. And I'm hoping that things are changing that way. I'm hoping that, that girls out there aren't hearing you can't do it because you're a girl. Um, but even if you are, I think, I think you don't have to listen to that. I think you need to listen to the voice inside your head that says you can do it. Uh, and, and people will see that. Uh, if you prove it over and over again, they can't deny it. <laughs>